another day, another fear mongery post about birth control. Here are the three cardinal questions you should ask yourself when you see a post that you're questioning, like how valid is this? Number one, what is their education in this topic? Number two, what do they use to back up their statements? And number three, what do they have to gain from this post? Number one, what is the training that this person has? This person says that they are a biomedical engineer, which sounds like they should be talking about medical devices, but if you dig just a little bit deeper, you'll see that they are a biomedical engineering student, and that is very different than working and being a biomedical engineer. Number two, what do they use to support their claims? When you first read these posts, it does look like she has looked at scientific data. But then you notice that she really actually doesn't understand what it means when the studies say more research is needed. Almost all medical studies say this. And then it, it's a little fear mongery to say like, that says a lot, doesn't it? And again, using correct data that the Morena IUD has only been approved since 2000 to make a claim, completely ignoring the fact that we've had other forms of hormonal IUDs since the 1970s. But again, kind of drawing your emotions into this by being like, no wonder there's not enough data. Yeah, because you're not looking at all the other things that do the same thing as the Mirena does, just with a different name. Now we have bypassed the actual research she was looking at and are just sharing what people shared in online forums, which is really not a good basis when you're trying to make a scientific argument. And for three, I don't really know what her goal is with sharing this. I do believe that she in her heart believes this, but when you portray yourself as someone who has expertise in this topic, we can't just go off of feelings and vibes and online forums. We actually have to base our statements on fact.